So, in addition to the Monkey King Ultra Mech, we now have four more Season 4 sets that have been revealed, and one Season 4 polybag. Throughout these new sets, we see the three Demon Kings and these Ink Demons. The Ink Demons, who seem to have the ability to shoot ink, clearly have something to do with the three Demon Kings, as not only do the Ink Demons appear alongside the Yellow Tusk Elephant, but the Ink Demons are wearing similar outfits to the Three Demon Kings. In fact, the Ink Demons and the Three Demon Kings all have the same circular symbol somewhere on them, and this same symbol is seen on the giant elephant creature in the Yellow Tusk Elephant set numerous times. This symbol is to do with the Ink Demons as it is purple and pink, the same purple as the ink spotches on the Ink Demons, and the same pink as the Ink Demons' eyes. Now, the Ink Demons could possibly be the minions or servants of the Three Demon Kings that are mentioned in Journey to the West. These minions in Journey to the West do not really have any sort of description, other than the fact that they have gold plates tied to their bodies with cotton thread. These gold plates have their names written on them. The minion Sun Wukong meets is called Little Wind Cutter, and all the other minions whose job it is to patrol the mountain of the Three Demon Kings are also called that. Now, these ink demons in the sets do not have any visible gold nameplates, but in Journey to the West, these nameplates are hidden under the minion's clothing. So, if these ink demons do have nameplates, it would make sense that they would not be visible. Now, the minions of the three demon kings in Journey to the West do not have anything to do with ink, but there aren't any demons in Journey to the West that have anything to do with ink. However, there is one demon in Journey to the West who is associated with darkness, and that is the Python Demon. In Journey to the West, when the Python Demon comes, massive black clouds cover the starry sky, and lamps and lights fade as the whole earth grows dark. And when the Python Demon leaves, it goes back to mist and smoke. Now obviously there is a big difference between ink and darkness, however, the English translation of the Ink Demon's Chinese name is Night Ink War Beasts. The fact that the word night is in their name further associates them with darkness. Additionally, the Python Demon is also associated with wind, and many of the Three Demon King's minions are called Little Wind Cutter. I should also mention that I've actually already previously theorized that the Python Demon will make an appearance in Monkey Kid. I made a video going into detail on this, but in the video, I discussed how I think the reason Macaque has shadow powers is because he made a deal with the Python Demon, who is the only demon who can really be linked to shadows in Journey to the West. It is also important to note that the Ink Demons seem to be partially made of purple ink. They have purple hands and purple ink coming out of their chest and face. They also have pink eyes. Now, where else have we seen a purple and pink color scheme? Macaque. His powers are purple and pink themed. Now, let's say someone, potentially the Python Demon, created the Ink Demons. Perhaps this someone made a deal with the Three Demon Kings and made the Ink Demons for them to use as their servants. Perhaps the reason the Ink Demons have this symbol on them is so the Three Demon Kings can control the Ink Demons. There is also the fact that both the Azure Lion and the Golden Winged Eagle have black legs. It could be that their legs are made of ink. and. One of the Azure Lion's arms is also black. In fact, the Azure Lion seems to have black and purple ink pooled on his chest coming from his black arm. Now, the Yellow Tusk Elephant doesn't have any black body parts, so maybe he made a deal with some sort of ink demon, and he did it to save the lives of the Azure Lion and Golden Winged Eagle. Maybe they were dying or dead, he made a deal with an ink demon to save them and, I don't know, repair their bodies. This could also maybe explain why the Yellow Tusk Elephant does seem to be the one in charge of the Three Demon Kings. He has his own giant elephant set, and he's the only one with the symbol on his head rather than his chest. I do also want to quickly mention that in the Yellow Tusk Elephant set, which is a giant elephant creature, there is this drawing. It doesn't look like the Yellow Tusk Elephant King or even any of the other two Demon Kings. In fact, it looks an awful lot like a crocodile. However, there aren't any crocodile characters in Journey to the West, so it could be maybe a snake or a dragon. We do, however, see what appears to be a small dragon symbol on the Ink Demons and on the Yellow Elephant Tusk set. 
It is possible these little dragon symbols are the same creature as the crocodile looking creature, but they do look quite different. Anyway, thanks for watching, feel free to check out my other theory videos and my monkey kid animations.